Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to embed an image on a Canvas page. So I'm at Unsplash and I found this image. I'll click Download Free and I'm going to choose Small. I do not want a huge image. When I choose that, it will download to my computer. And notice it gave me a suggested attribution. I'll probably grab that later. Now let's head over to my a canvas page and click the edit button in the upper right hand corner and let me find a place to put this image right um, let's see maybe I'll put it right here at the top of my page and uh, once I've got my cursor in place head over to the right menu and click images upload a new image and I'm going to choose the file I'm going to find where did I put that file okay open it. It's asking for the alternative te text, so a brief description. Uh, you can edit that later if you'd like, and then I will click Upload. And it's going to upload on my page quite large, uh, so I'm going to resize that. So I just click the image, it turns blue, and then I can drag the corner to resize that image a little bit. And I can also um, kind of make it go off to the right, wrap around my text. So up here on the editor, I can click um, align left or align right. Align left is tricky. So I'm gonna do align right and it pushed it over, but the text is so close to the image um, that might bother you, it might not. If it bothers you, click HTML editor and find that image, which is right here, you can see it image float right, right after the semicolon, click your cursor, space, and write padding, colon, I'm going to try 20 pixels, which is 20px, semicolon. Let's head back over. Yeah, it added some space for me. Okay, now what about an attribution? You've seen them throughout our class, uh, any page that you're on in our course, if you scroll to the bottom. You'll see we have attributions, and I encourage you to use our examples of different ways to um, give attribution to images. There's a variety of ways you can do it. Essentially, you want to give credit to the creator um, and whatever license that it may have. Now, Unsplash gives us a suggested attribution, and when they do that, why not use it? I'm going to copy it, highlight it, press Control-C or Command-C on a Mac, come back over to my page, and let's put it below that blue line. Try just kind of clicking there or click right on the blue line if you need to and click the down arrow. And now I can paste it in. Control V or Command V. And I can also make that smaller if you want by changing to 10 point. And don't forget to click save at the end. And let's take a look. Okay, so now we have a page with a beautiful image. All right, have fun.